So we're joined by Megan, who's one of the waitresses here at the Union Oyster House. And I asked her to join us because she's got some really great point of views and great things to say about not only the restaurant, but some of the great things she's heard and seen while she's working here at the great, awesome, historical landmark. Go ahead. Yeah, so it's the oldest restaurant in the United States. It's over 190 years old. Um, this room is one of the most original rooms here. As we're sitting at the JFK booth where JFK sat every Sunday when he was senator, he always had lobster bisque, he always read his newspaper. Also, the oyster bar downstairs is also original as well. It's also a, most of the place to go to. You get a nice oyster show and some lunch as well. But uh, also, there's many other things that go, like the toothpick is first made. He, uh, first, you hear by Harvard students. And, yeah, just like a lot of history, so much to just try wow. to like. I was just reading a little bit, I think, on the website about the toothpick, and I was, what? Yeah, I didn't know that. Not a lot. And I'm from Boston, you know, and it's just, you get so many cool things that you don't, when you go someplace you don't even know, it's, it's got historical pieces of landmark in it. Yeah. And especially, I was fascinating to find out, and I kind of heard about it, but I heard about the JFK booth here. Um, we've actually visited the JFK library, oh, awesome. the museum. Um, so that's what we do is tour in New England, and but we enjoy you know learning bits and pieces about American history. Yeah. Also, um, not far from the JFK was that fireplace over there. If you want to take a look, it's where J uh, uh, Louis Philippe he taught uh, French ballets in Boston when he was exiled from France when he was king. Before, he, well, he was king. Now he's exiled, and he taught French at the fireplace there by some fa by, for some fashionable Boston ladies. So if 